So again, there is nothing in creaturely existence that is not embodied. And there is a sense in which all of our worship is sacramental. It is all expressed through embodiment, word, song, gesture, sight, sound, all our material realities. The relationship of word and sacrament is not that we have the spiritual, that is the word, and then we have the physical, which is the sacrament. The preaching of the word, the proclamation of the word, is just as embodied as the sacrament itself. It is incarnational reality. The word of God comes to us in the voice, in the gesture, in the human experience of the person who is relating that word. It comes to us by sound waves beating on our eardrums, which is then translated into our mind. It comes to us as a part of a story that is embedded in human life and in human history. So it's not that the word is spiritual, it is embodied, it is embedded, it is all about physical reality. And then the, the sacrament itself follows. Yet we affirm that through the physical, creaturely human agency of preaching, God speaks to his people by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the physical embodied enterprise is also a spiritual reality. So, word and sacrament belong together not because one is spiritual, therefore superior, and the other is physical, therefore inferior. It's because, one, the sacrament is bare without being joined to the word. You may look with wonder and awe at the night sky filled with stars, but only when it is joined to the word of God, the heavens declare the glory of God, does the true reality of that star become clear. So it's only in the preaching of Christ that the true, and op that the true nature and operation of the sacraments becomes clear. That is, who is the one whose grace we receive through the sacrament and what he has done for us? And secondly, without the sacraments, the Word is outside of us. The Word is further incarnated through the sacrament. The Word instructs us in the grace of the gospel. The sacrament embodies that gospel through the bath and the meal. So, sacrament becomes the physical appropriation of the gospel promises that are preached through God's Word. Apart from the sacraments, the word is not sufficiently embodied for human creatures to fully appropriate. Word without sacrament, like to say, is like talking about a delicious gourmet meal, but never tasting it. You describe all the smells as best as you can. You describe all the beauty of the food that are there. You can arouse the taste buds. You can get the salivary glands going with all that talk, but it can't nourish you. You don't really know what it is. So, I cannot fully know or experience my identity as a member of the body of Christ, as being in Christ, apart from my baptism. I can't really understand my, uh, the life of Christ in me apart from receiving it in Holy Communion. So my spiritual nourishment has its source in trusting the Word of God, which awakens faith, but becomes real, that is, embodied further by being baptized and by eating and drinking the body and blood of the living Christ. 